You put Vice President Harris in charge of voting rights. Are you satisfied with her work on this issue? And can you guarantee, do you commit that she will be your running mate in 2024, provided that you run again? She's going to be my running mate, number one. And number two, I did put her in charge. I think she's doing a good job. She's doing a good job. President Biden committing to Kamala Harris as his running mate in 2024, as he suggests he is indeed running for re-election. Our next guest advises to take this with a grain of salt. Fox News contributor Laura Trump joins us right now. What do you mean, take it with a grain of salt, Laura? <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Well, we heard a lot from Joe Biden yesterday, Steve, in that press conference. One of the things he told us was that he outperformed. Um, and I'm not sure in what way he thinks yeah. he outperformed. Perhaps he outperformed even our lowest expectations of how poorly you could do in your first year in office. That is a possibility. I remember Joe Biden not too long ago telling us that Hunter Biden was the smartest person he knew. We don't have enough time, Steve, <laughs> in this entire show to digest all of the reasons. That is crazy. Obviously, we know that Kamala Harris as vice president was tapped for two jobs. One of them was election reform, which while this press conference was happening yesterday, was dying down the street at the Capitol. Thank goodness that did not pass. So failure there. Then it, we're coming up in March, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on one year of her being the border czar. How do we feel she has done at that job, Steve? She went one time down to the southern border, not even the Rio Grande Valley, where the major problem was. She visited Guatemala one time and was embarrassed by the president of Guatemala. We have had historic numbers of illegal immigrants pouring into America under her watch. So I'm not sure what kind of good job he thinks that she's doing. She's incredibly unlikable, condescending, cackles at every question that she can't answer. But Steve, let's address the elephant in the room. No one really believes that Joe Biden himself is running in 2024. The bottom line is that these two, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, have performed so badly in their first year in office, they really are not, for the Democrats, viable candidates in 2024 apart or together. So yes, we have to take all of this with a huge grain of salt. I assume the White House is tired of getting asked questions about the two of them running. So. They probably gave right. Joe Biden a little note card as he went out yesterday, trotted him out there, and it said, if they ask you about Kamala, the answer is yes, she's running. Yes, she's doing a good job. It is all virtually meaningless. But uh, so you've, you've clarified what that grain of salt is. So it's predicated on, <laughs> and the uh, reporter said, you know, provided you run for re-election, uh, Joe Biden. And, and, and it's an open question because... How many stories have we read in The New York Times and The Washington Post about how people inside Joe Biden's own party are kind of putting together a list of who should take over if he doesn't run? And because her popularity is lower than his, it's like, well, maybe if you got to get rid of one of them, we do this. Yeah, and the top of that list, Steve, is Hillary Clinton. Um, and gosh, what does that say about so much that... The, the failed candidate herself is the top person right now being talked about to possibly run in 2024. This entire White House um, seems incredibly dysfunctional. We know the rate at which Kamala Harris has been losing staff. They say that she is a terrible person to work with. Um, and, and, you know, you wonder oftentimes who is even running this White House. So, uh, look, no matter what, the Democrats have backed themselves into a terrible corner here because they have pushed so far left that they have lost so much of the American public. People don't agree with what they're doing. And again, tells you a lot that Hillary Clinton is being tapped again as possibly the candidate. Will be interesting to watch. That's right. They're saying if there's a bloodbath with the Democrats in this year's midterms, next thing you know, Hillary goes, hey, excuse me, I'm still available. All right, uh, Laura, thank you very much for joining us live today from Florida.